Brother good? Pretty good. How you feeling, buddy? You okay? All right, all right. Man, uh, we've been going through the blood covenant. We've been uh, changing our identity, giving our identity to Christ. Christ giving his identity to us. And uh, yes, uh, been awesome. Been good. Have it been good to y'all? Amen. Amen. St. John chapter 21. We're going to look at verses 1 through 6. St. John chapter 1, 1 through 6. All right. At least thing Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And on this wise showed he himself. There were together Simon Peter, Thomas, called Didymus, and Nathaniel of Canaan in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said unto them, I go fishing, I go and fishing. They said unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered to the, into a ship immediately. And that night they caught nothing. But when the morning would now come, Jesus stood on the, on the shore. But the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, ye have any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast their for, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of the fishes. The title of the day is, How's Your, How's your Way Work It Out For You? <laughs> How's Your Way Work It Out For You? Doing what you want to do, the way you want to do it, how's it working out for you? How's it working out? Ask yourself that question. How is it working out? We see here that uh, this is a scene after Jesus has rose, risen from the grave. And he has showed himself to the disciples. And he has showed himself again to uh, Thomas because he wasn't there the first time he appeared to them. So, so they experienced the resurrection power of God. So now Jesus then, then left the scene. And he's sitting somewhere idle. And uh, Peter decided to make up his mind, man, I'm finna go fishing, man. I ain't doing nothing, I'm finna go fishing. I'm finna go back to what I used to do. And uh, so by him saying that, he said, I go fishing. So he got other brothers in the, in the midst of him. He said, he's going fishing. I'm going back to my old crap. They listening to what he's saying. They say, okay, we're going to go fishing too. We're going to go along with what you're talking about. And we see that they fished all night. Mm -hmm. Didn't get nothing. And these, they was uh, commercial fishermen. Mm -hmm. So these guys, they know the spots. They know how to fish. Right. They, had the, they had the material to fish with. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they, they didn't catch nothing. So that, that had been a, a, a frustrating night for them. Not catching anything. Not nothing. And uh, so Jesus on the shore, Jesus telling them, uh, hey, got a guy anything? <laughs> now, believe me, all night fishing. They don't know who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. Somebody on the shore asking somebody that know how to fish. Man, y'all got anything, man? They frustrate. No, nah, we didn't caught nothing. Man. And uh, so, how's it working out for you? All right. How's it working out for you? All right now. Yep. Doing what you want to do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Marriage, oh, yeah. singlehood, work. How's it working out? I'm, I'm gonna do it my way. How's it working out? Mm -hmm. How you see how it worked out for Peter? Them didn't work out too good. Mm -hmm. They didn't catch nothing. Mm -hmm. They didn't catch nothing. Mm -hmm. So how's it working out for you? Are you catching anything? Are you being fruitful mm -hmm. in your own doing? In your own way? 
The way I want to do things? Come on. How is it working out for you? I, man, I, I look at myself. It ain't working out too good, man. Come on. It ain't working out too good. All right. I don't want to get pregnant right. on that regard. All right, yeah. I was married. Now I'm right. I was uh, introduced to several ladies. How's it working out for you? Right. God said, how's it working out for you? Is it working out for you? Mm. Is it working out for you? Huh? Come on. Is it working out for you? God said, you ain't listening to me, son. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. How's it working out for you? How's it working out in your marriage? How's it working out? Jesus said, do it this way, but I'm going to do it my way. Wow. How's it working out? We see Peter. It didn't work out. Because Peter said, I'm finna go fish. I want to do this. This is how I want to do it. Wow. How did it work out, though? How's it working out for you? Come in on. anything, whatever you're doing in your life, how's it working out? All right. Is it working out? Is it being fruitful to you in God? Is it being fruitful? We see it wasn't fruitful for Peter and the disciples. They are fishing. They didn't, it, it, this is the thing about it. They had experienced the resurrection power. They had seen right. the power of God. Right. Jesus had died on the cross. They right. seen Jesus died on the cross. Right, right. Seen him. And then see him after he rose from the grave. Yeah. So they experienced the resurrection right. power. Yeah. So because you come to church, because God just spoke to you, all right. Don't think you can you can't get off. Can't get off path. Don't think you, you can't go back to doing what you used to do. That's right? right. That's right. They, these brothers experienced the resurrection power. Yes, sir. And still, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. How's it working out for you though? That's the question. Come on. How's it working out for you? Job. I'm gonna go do I'm going to this job. Did God lead you to do that job? Uh oh. Did God instruct you to go that way? That's a good question. <laughs> Did God do that? How's, how's it working out for you? Right. Man, I'm talking about God been dealing with me. How's it working out, man? Come on, man. So, how's it working out? Yeah. You get suggested, oh, you should do this, you should do that. It's, I, it's like, man, God said, do you hear me? Yeah. Not what people say to you. That's do you hear me? Right. All right. How's it working out? How's it working out? We see that it didn't work out too well with Peter and them. Yeah. Until, until, until Jesus showed up. My God. But the thing about it, until Jesus showed up. A lot of times we want to do stuff on our own and, and expect to be fruitful behind. All right. And don't get no fruit produced. We don't be fruitful. And until Jesus show up. Yeah. Until Jesus show up. Right. And Jesus had to show up. Jesus had to show up to produce fruit, okay. to show them the only way you're going to accomplish something, the only way you're going to be successful in life, if you put me first. That's right. I'm in your life. That's the only way you're going to be fruitful. That's the only way your marriage is going to work. That's the only way your singlehood is going to work. That's the only way you being a kid going to school is going to work. All right. If I'm there. But if Jesus is not on the scene, you're not going to be fruitful. All right. You may seem like you're being fruitful, but it's not. It's not going to benefit you. Because it didn't benefit them because Jesus wasn't, Jesus wasn't on the scene at the time. All right. When he showed up, that's when it became beneficial to them. And uh, look at uh, verse, verse 3. All right. Simon Peter said unto them, I'm, I go fishing. Uh huh. They said, oh, we're going with you. And they entered into the boat. They, 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 they out fishing. Know, know that we cannot do anything without Christ. All right. We can't, we can't do nothing without Christ. Amen. Yeah. Go to John, John, St. John 15, 5. All right. St. John 15, 5. Yes, sir. We cannot do anything without Christ. Yes, sir. And we see that uh, Peter, he out fishing. The disciples are fishing. Uh -huh. They are there fishing. These are experts. Experts in and fishing. Right. But they still can get that. Until Jesus showed up. Mm -hmm. So we can't do nothing without Christ. Christ said in uh, John 15, 5, he said, I am divine. Yes, sir. And ye are the branches. Mm -hmm. All right. He that abide in me and I in him, the same bring forth much fruit. 
All right. For without me, you cannot do nothing. Right. You can't do nothing. We can't do nothing without Christ. I don't care what it is, man. I don't, I don't care what it is. I don't, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm coming to understand, I don't care what it is. It can be the smallest thing, like I, going to the store. I don't care what it is. If Christ is not leading us to do things, it ain't going right. to matter to nothing. Right. right. We got to allow Christ to lead. Mm -hmm. We have to allow Christ to lead. We have to allow, allow Christ to speak into our life. Yeah. And this is what I, I come to know. That's why I love this, this man here. If it's not word, don't give it to me. Mm. All right. If, if it's not word, and Christ's word is what stays. If it's not his word, don't give it to me. Right. And, when, and, when, and like when I go to him and ask him about things, he take me straight to the word. Glory to God. If it's not word, don't give it to me. Don't bring it to me. Mm -hmm. If it's not word. And a lot of times, we want to give people what we think. Yeah, yeah. What they yeah. should do. We want to say, we want to suggest, do this this way. Oh, no, go to this. You can take, take that job. But if Christ ain't telling you that, don't do it. All right. Don't do it. So, but if, without Christ, we cannot do anything. That's right. That's just one yeah. right. We seen that Peter you know, was trying to fish without Christ. Mm -hmm. But Christ had to come on the scene and say, throw your net on the right side. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And they had a multitude of fish. And, man, with this, man, I'm about this. Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we're going to make it, y'all. Right. That's the only way we're going to make it. Yes, sir. That's the only way we're going to make it. Go to Proverbs 3. All right. Proverbs 3, we're going to get 5 through. I ain't going to be up here that long. Come on, dog. Proverbs 3. 5 through 6. Six. Come on. All right. Now, <laughs> Proverbs five, five, uh, five through six. He said, "Trust in the Lord with Come all on. thine heart, all right. Come on. and lean not to thy own understanding. Yes. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, yes. and He shall direct thy path." Amen. Who He said, "Trust me." The Lord. The Lord. He said, with all your heart. Mm -hmm. All right. He said, lean not to what you think it is. What you believe it is. All right. How you understand. Mm -hmm. But how can we do that if we never know what the word says? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. We never study the word and know what Christ said. Mm -hmm. All right. And because a lot of people come to you and say, uh, God said do this. But if it's not lying to the word, God ain't said it. It has to go with the word of God. And, I, and that's what I love about That's what I love about this man. He said, Come on, come on. If the word don't say it, don't see it. Right. Don't, don't tell people stuff that the word don't say. That's All right. right. And we that even go with, because we're dealing with the covenant. You can't tell people about the old covenant when we're in the new covenant. Mm -hmm. You're telling people to do stuff out of the old covenant when we know that that's not true. It's, that's done away with. That's right. right. And but if you don't know that, you're misleading people. That's right. So don't lean to your own understanding. My God. And uh, he said, acknowledge him. God, yeah. if I'm, I'm, I'm going to work in the morning, God, I'm, I'm going to work. I need you to lead me. You're going to lead me to work. That's right. Guide my, guide my head. Yes. Guide my thinking. Yes. Yeah. On my way to work. That's right. Guide this car on my way to work. Yes. Guide my thoughts while I'm at work. Yes. Acknowledge him. You're giving it to God to guide you throughout the day. Yes. Right. So we're giving it to him. So we got to acknowledge him mm -hmm. and give it to him. And, uh, man, it's, wow. Go back to the text. All right. We have to put Christ first. We, do, we got to allow Christ to be man. first in our life. Yeah. We got to. Uh, we, we have to, man. Yes, sir. Go back to John 21. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying out this new technology stuff. All right. All right. Look at our verse. Look at verse five. Look at verse five. All right. He said, then Jesus said unto them, children, have ye any meat? They answered him, 
No. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going way ahead. Go to four. Four. Go to verse four. He said, but when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciple knew not that it was Jesus. Right. right. Now, this is critical here, y'all. Now, they had seen Jesus mm -hmm. after he had rose. They had seen Jesus before he died and died. After he rose, mm -hmm. Jesus had came and appeared to them. They had seen Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right. Knew how Jesus looked. Now, they out here fishing. And the Bible said they weren't that far out right. from the shore fishing. So they, they clearly could see who he, you know, who he was. But this is the thing here. But the Bible said they didn't know who he was. Right. Why? <laughs> Why? Come on. Why didn't they know who he was? They seen him. Uh -huh. They were close enough for him to speak to him, they could see him. But the Bible said they didn't know who he was. Mm. Go to Proverbs 2. All right. Lacking insight. When you're doing what you want to do, you can't see Christ. Mm. Wow. Mm. You can't see Christ because you're doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go to Proverbs, Proverbs 2. Proverbs 2, we're going to look at 1 through 9. All right. Listen to the, to the right. He said, my son, if thou will receive my words All right. and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thy ear to wisdom, apply thy heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and lifted, lifted up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and riches for her as for, for searches for her as as for hidden treasures, right? Then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Right. He lays up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler for them that, is, that walk uprightly. Mm -hmm. He keepeth the path of the judgment. He keeps the path of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Mm -hmm. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equality. Yea, every good path. They, Jesus, it's like they heard nothing Jesus had told them. Hmm. Jesus, I'm making you fishers of men. All right. They out there fishing for fishing. Fish. Doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus show up on the scene, no insight of who he is. Because they can't see who he is. Because they're doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. My God. When we don't apply a lot of word to take root in us, or apply the word to our heart, we can't see Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ can show up on the scene, we can't even see him. Right. We don't even know he's there, but he's there. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible didn't say Jesus changed his appearance. He did that with some more, some more disciples. Mm -hmm. But he said they didn't even recognize Jesus. They didn't know who Jesus was. Mm -hmm. But if we don't incline God's word, if we don't tie God's word around our neck to our, and, and, and apply it to our heart, we, we won't know who Jesus is. Right. We won't. He can show up. We don't know when Jesus is speaking to us. Because his word is not there. So we have to uh, be on guard, man, of our heart. Because right. if, we not, if we don't have the word of God, right. we won't see Jesus. Jesus My is, God, we won't hear Jesus. Jesus can be speaking to us. We won't hear him. Because we have no word. We're not, we're not doing what he said do. We're not searching for him. So, our perception, That's good, man. our perception changes. Mm -hmm. Because we're looking from the natural, man. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I'm speaking spiritual. Mm -hmm. We're looking from the natural thing. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I'm spiritual. Mm -hmm. And you're still natural. Mm -hmm. Because you're doing what you want to do. Right. But how is that working out for you, though? Mm -hmm. All right. What is that? How is that working out? Mm -hmm. How is it working out? My marriage is told up, but I'm doing what I want to do. How's right. that working out? How's that working out? It can worse than work. 
How is that working out? Is I'm doing according to Christ? Because when you do it according to Christ, the word is there. Right. Mm -hmm. The word is there. The only way this thing gonna get better, the only way this marriage, only way my singlehood is going to be fruitful, I got to apply the word. I got to apply the word. Yes, because sir. the word is what's gonna make it fruitful. That's right. right. That's what's gonna make it fruitful. So if if I want my marriage to work, uh, if I, if I want my marriage, my marriage is gonna be tore up from the floor. It ain't producing nothing. Mm. It ain't producing nothing. I ain't getting nothing from it. All right. But when I apply the word to it, it starts to become fruitful. Amen. Right. It starts to become fruitful. But if I don't, my marriage not gonna get no better. Mm -hmm. My singlehood not gonna get no better. Right. Yeah. My Christianhood is not gonna get any better. Mm. All right. I'm not gonna be fruitful to anybody. I'm not gonna be worth nothing. He said we should be salt. I should be a light to somebody. Right. But. If I don't apply the word, no fruitfulness. Yeah. So if I want things in my life to get better, you got to have the word. Yes, sir. We have to apply the word. That's right. We have to apply the word. If we want our lives to get better, if we want to succeed in life, work, whatever it is, marriage, being a better husband, being a better wife, being a better brother, being a better sister. All right. Whatever it is, the word is what makes the difference. Yes, sir. Amen. That's the only thing that's going to make the difference. Amen. Just like the word of Christ. Yes. That's going to make the difference, man. That's going to make the difference. They was out there fishing all night. Mm -hmm. These brothers were struggling mm -hmm. trying to catch something. Mm -hmm. Frustrated, didn't catch nothing. But Jesus showed up. All right. What y'all got? What y'all got? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Throw, throw, throw the net on the other side. Right. Throw it on the right side. Even though they didn't know who Jesus was, they still threw it over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it caught a lot. So, man, we have to be, we have to be, we have to know that we can't do not, we can't do nothing without Christ. And Christ got to be in every affair of our life. All right. On everything we do, on every journey, every road we go down, Christ got to be there. That's the only way things are going to be fruitful in our life if Christ is there. If Christ is not there, we read in John, he said, we can't do nothing without him. He said, he's divine. Even though we're the branches, he said, you can't do nothing without me. Right. You can't be fruitful without me. You can't. That's just one plan. If you don't want to believe it, hey, that's on you. So you think you can go do something and think you're going to be fruitful behind it? Go ahead. My God. Go ahead. It's on you. And Jesus said, you read in uh, St. John 20, the last part of it, he said, Jesus said, I did all these miracles so you can believe. All right. Just believe in the word of God. Yeah, it may, it may be tore up right now. It may not be producing nothing. Believe in my word. Yeah. So if you believe in his word, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna act on his word. So things start to change. Sometimes things change like that, but sometimes things, it takes graduate change. Yeah. All right. True. Jesus healed people like that sometimes. Right. Sometimes Jesus said, go and watch, they come back. Yeah. He had to walk, he told the blind man, he still on the ground, got in the mud, threw in his eye, said, go watch your face. Mm -hmm. Situation was still bad now. Mm -hmm. The situation was still bad because he's still blind with mud on his eye. Mm -hmm. Walking to go watch his face. All right. He ain't seeing nothing. Situation bad. When he watched his face, in obedience to the word of God, he went and watched his eyes yeah. come back, see. Yeah. Yeah, sure did. Hey, sometimes it don't work out like that. Yeah. Sometimes he take a gradual. But he, we got to walk in it, though, man. We got to walk in it. Mm -hmm. So the word is what's going, man, I'm telling you, is Jesus, go watch your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some marriages, it work overnight. Some marriages don't. All right. But we have to put forth the effort, you know, you know and believe in God's word, man. Mm -hmm. So it's like, man, Jesus, knew, Jesus told the disciples, throw the net. Throw the net. And they threw the net. Yes. Jesus tell us, do this. What do we do? Mm -hmm. No, I ain't doing it. I'm doing it my way. Yeah. But how is that working out for you, though? Wow. 
I'm gonna do it my way. But how is it working out for you, man? Look at it. What? Yeah. Get your own scale. Use your hand. Get your own scale. <laughs> and say, and wait. I'm doing it. I'm doing it my way. Uh -huh. How is it working out for you? My God. But have you weighed Christ's way? Have you, have you weighed Christ's way? Try Christ. Mm -hmm. Try Christ and see how it works. Mm -hmm. But now we want to stay on this side of the scale and say, I'm going to do it my way. And it's, it's steady going down. Mm -hmm. It's steady going down. Yeah. You get no fruit from it. Yeah. Nothing. <coughs> Nothing getting better. Toe up from the floor. Nothing getting better. But Jesus said, try my way. Mm -hmm. Why? Give me your word. I'm going to make a life way. Try my way. Watch how light it get to you. All right. Watch how light it get for you. Try my way. But we always want to do it our way. Mm -hmm. We always want to do it somebody else's way. Mm -hmm. Because the disciples, they were with Peter. Peter said, I, he said, Peter said, Peter, Peter said, I'm going fishing. He said, let us go fishing. Peter said, I'm going fishing. Here goes somebody to volunteer. I'm going to step in. I'm going fishing too. Yeah. We always do it. We always want to follow somebody. But Jesus said, follow me. All right. They out there fishing now. Still didn't catch nothing. Man, it's like, we have to follow Christ, man. Yes. And, uh, man, it's like, wow. Like Paul said, Paul, Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Right. And I went with what Pastor said a while, years ago. He said, we so focused on following the preacher. But we're not focused on who he follows. Right. We got the, we got the, no, we're going to follow him, but let me see if you follow in Christ. Mm -hmm. We got the, we got the people around that bus. Mm -hmm. It's a bus. Yeah. Because he got a family with him. Mm -hmm. We got the people around that bus to see if he follows Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we, we so focused on the bus, the back end of the bus, mm -hmm. we don't know where the bus going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Is he following Christ? Is she following Christ? So, and they, they listened to the instruction of Christ, man. Yes, sir. And it benefited them because they listened to the, to the words of Christ. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, it just, and we, when we don't apply the word, we, when we don't uh, engraft the word, allow the word to engraft in our heart, we can't see Christ. Mm -hmm. We don't know who he is. He a stranger to us. He a stranger. Mm -hmm. when, he, when he's speaking to us. We don't know. So go back to the text. All told right. You, I told you I'm not going to be here too long. It's like, how our working, our way working out for us? Is it working out for you? Is it benefiting you? My God. Is your way, the way you do things, benefiting you? How I'm doing things, is it benefiting me? Is it benefiting me? All right. God, is it benefiting you the way you do? Man, it's like, Lord said, as long as it's benefiting you. My God. What, you what you getting out of this? <laughs> what you getting out of this concerning the kingdom? What you getting? Mm -hmm. What you getting? Man, it's like, wow. You know, I'm just, man, I'm <laughs> woo. Man, I, I'm just tired, man. It's like, wow. Yeah, you need to be married. Married to who? Christ. Christ. That's what I need to be married to. Mm -hmm. That's what I need to be married to. If I'm not married to Christ, I'm going to lead a woman. How am I going to lead a woman if I'm not married to Christ? My God. Hey, come on. What else? What else? I'm going to be with Christ. Christ going to lead me. To lead me. To lead her. If he want me to be married. That's it. And it's like, man, it's like life, work. It's a fast of this life, man. If we're not letting Christ lead us, man, we will fail. That's automatic. That's automatic. We will fail. Yep. We will fail. That's automatic. Because he said, you can't do nothing without me. Whatever you try to prosper to do, if it's not in Christ, you will fail. Yeah. So that's why you so easily to give up on situation. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> I'm talking to Mama, like, 
That's why we're not happy, man. Because we don't know who Christ is. Yeah. Man, God showed me something, man, all the day. I said, wow. Being happy. How do I know that I'm really happy? That word, man. That word. It, when God reveals the war to me, man, I'm going to share it with y'all. He said, this thing is, happiness is a mystery, man. We just think we can run up on happiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> happiness is a mystery. Paul said, when Paul said, Paul said, <laughs> he said, I know how to be a base. I know how to be happy when I don't have. Yeah. I know how to be happy yeah. when I do have. Right. Man, that's a place that I'm trying to get. Right. When I don't have, when I'm lacking, I'm still happy. Yes. Yeah. When yeah. things ain't going right for me, right. I'm still happy. Yeah. When things are going good for me, I'm still happy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pause it, that's a mystery. We don't, hey, a lot of us don't have that because when things ain't going right, we want to run. Yeah. We want to run. But how is that working out for you, though? Run. run. Man, I tell people, man, that's married, man, I don't care what you're going through in your marriage. If you're willing to work it out together, work it out. Because when you think you're going out here, trust me, I've been married and I'm single now. What's out in this street now is not what you want. If God ain't leading that person to you, it's not what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all listen to me, man. I'm, I'm talking about my heart now. Not what you want. It's cutthroat out here now. Men and women. Yeah. Cutthroat. 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 When I say cutthroat, it's what I can get from you. What I can get out of you. What I can get out of you. How is that working out for you, though? Is it benefiting you? Mm. What I can get from you? Yes. All right. I know a brother. The lady married him just to sleep with him, and left. Yeah. What I can get from you? But how's it working out for you? Mm-hmm. How's it working out for you? Cause you running behind something that ain't your, ain't benefiting you. Yeah. It's not gonna benefit you in Christ. Mm -hmm. Because I'm trying to get something from you that you don't even know. But if God is not leading you, man, mm. how is it going to work out for you doing what you want to do? Yeah. Peter and them were fishing, doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out too good. But Jesus showed up on the scene yes, he did. and Come said, on throw your net on the side. Mm -hmm. Throw your net on the side. How is it working out now? Because I said throw it on the side. How is it working out now? You was fruit. Because when I say it, it's benefited for you. But right. when you did what you wanted to do, mm -hmm. it didn't benefit for you. My God. You, you, you lose the sight of me because what I told you, what I showed you, it, it, it ain't resonant with you. All right. Because I show up on the side of the sea, and you didn't know who I was. You didn't really know who I was at first. My God. But how's that working out for you? Because you're doing what you want to do. <laughs> We see it didn't work out for them too well because they didn't catch that until Jesus said throw it to the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, man, it's y'all, all oh, y'all say I'm all on marriage of me because I know what I went through. And I know, I know I went I went through something and I know what's out in the world. I know I I, hey, I both work. I know both work. If you don't allow Christ to lead you. Yeah. You gonna fall into some trouble. Every time. You gonna fall into some trouble. Mm -hmm. Trust me, man. You gonna fall into some trouble. Mm -hmm. So we have to allow Christ to lead us, man. We have to believe in this word, man. Christ's word brings changes in everything of every every aspect of our life. Right. So when Christ spoke, he said, throw it on the other side, throw your net on the other side, some change. Mm -hmm. From them fishing. Not grabbing anything, getting anything, and he was expert at fishing. They thought they knew. Right. They, that's why these brother here, they just wasn't no average fisherman out on the bank with the rod. These brother here was on the ship, fishing, commercial. They knew what they was doing. They, so they thought. So they thought. Jesus said, throw your net on the other side. Mm -hmm. For you to be fishing with a net, don't know every man just fish with no net. Mm -hmm. They fish with a pole. 
Because mm -hmm. <laughs> a commercial would fish with nets. Right. Mm -hmm. Drag nets. Sure do. So he said, throw your net on the other side. Man, we have to allow God's word to dictate our life, man. Yes. To orchestrate our life, man. If God's word is not orchestrating your life, you're going to get in trouble. All right. It might not be now, but down the road, you'll be in trouble. You'll be in trouble. You'll marry somebody that you shouldn't have been with. Mm -hmm. That's not a blood covenant. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Not blood covenant. Right. So now you, you're going through mad. You're going frustrated, wow. mad. You want to go out and do this, you want to go out and do that, because it's not blood covenant. Because yeah. you done married the wrong person. Wow. Mm -hmm. The wrong individual. Amen. You got the wrong man leading you. You got the wrong one trying to help you. Blood cutting. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, it's cutthroat. Young guys, I talked to my son. It's cutthroat, man. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Y'all deal with it. It's cutthroat out here, man. Y'all know it's just married. It's married. I'm telling y'all, man. When I say it's cutthroat, it's cutthroat. And it, if you don't have Christ in your life, man, it'll drive you to be cutthroat. Because you, you said, man, no, uh -uh, I ain't going to be. I ain't dealing with this. I'm going to get what I can get. Now, look at, listen to what you say. Okay. Listen to what you say. I'm going to get what I can get. What Christ said, though. Yeah. What Christ said in it. I'm going to get what I can get from the situation. So if I got to sleep with it, every man, every woman, to get what I can get, to get my come up, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all ain't hear me, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all ain't hear me, man. It's cutthroat out here, man. It is cutthroat. So if you got a spouse, y'all, it's, it's, it's tough. God ain't said it wasn't going to be tough. Mm -hmm. He ain't said that it wasn't going to be tough. But well, you can get through it. Yeah. You can get through it. He said, I'm with you. Always. Yeah. He said, I don't, I don't leave you alone. I'm with you all the way until the end of the earth. He with you. Yeah. But, man, these brothers seen Jesus after his resurrection. They seen him with the holes in his hand. They seen him with the holes in his side. But they still went to do what they wanted to do. My God. Now, who are you? You ain't seen Jesus. <laughs> who are we? We ain't seen Jesus. These brothers seen Jesus. Who are we, though? Yeah. And yeah, we can't go and do what we want to do. Who are we? They seen him. Experienced, him. Uh, experienced Jesus firsthand. Mm. But we think we can't, we won't do that. Jesus said, okay, fool yourself. We got to allow the word of God, man, to move in our life. Yes, sir. To dictate our life. Yeah. Because, you know, I know for myself, a lot of times, I let my feelings get in. And your feelings can lead you wrong. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your feelings can drive you away from what God called you to do. Because you and your feelings. Don't let your feelings get in it, man. Yeah, God gave us feelings. But we got to control those feelings, man. All right. We got to control those feelings. And uh, all I'm saying today and what God wants us to know, man, how is your way, your way working out? Is it working out for you? Is it benefiting you? Is it benefiting you? Have you tried my way? All right. Have you tried my instruction? Have you leaned to my spirit? How is it working out for you when you're doing it your way? We can examine that, man. We can go all the way from childhood. Okay. We can examine that thing. Did this work out when I did it this way? Or did it work out when I let God did, uh, show me this way? We can weigh it, man. We can weigh that thing big time. Yeah. We know. We know we. We know we. I don't know you, Dave, but you know. You know you know. Just wait. Wait it up. Just wait it up. Mm -hmm. And see what God say. Did your way work out when you did it this way? Or did it work out when it, I did it work out when, when, you, when you did what I said? Did it work out? Did it work out? How did it work out? Just wait it up. Just, 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 just find one. 
Just find one uh, uh, thing that happened in your life, and you did it twice. Mm -hmm. And when you did it twice, you did it the way God did it, and you did it the way you did it. And see which one came out the belt. All right. See which one came out the belt when you did it like that. I did it this way, my way, it didn't work out too good. Yeah. When I did it God's way, it came out real good. I, I benefit from it mm. a lot spiritually yeah. and yeah. mentally, emotionally. I, I, I benefited from it. Yeah. Mind, body, soul. We, it, I benefit from it. All yeah. Right. All right now. So, man, it's like, how's your way working out for you? We see pity them. They, they way didn't work out for them because they fishing and didn't catch nothing until Jesus showed up. So let allow Jesus show up and show out that we may be fruitful, man, in whatever affair in our life. Let let, let Jesus show up. Do what Jesus say do. Because he has last say so. Amen. He has. So, you know, we need to remember that we are tools to be used by God. Yes, sir. Not the creator of the machine. <laughs> we want to run this machine. We want to feel like we running this machine. We created this machine. Yeah. But God said, I did that. You are the tool that I'm using. Let me run the machine. Stop trying to run it. Stop trying to be the creator like you done ran the machine. Yeah. Like you done made the machine. God said, you the tool. Let me use you. All right. Don't, don't, I'm not, you a, a wrench, and you over here trying to be a screwdriver. Trying to screw a screw in and a wrench. God said, no, no, uh -uh. I didn't call you to do that. He said, you a wrench? Let me use you as a wrench. Stop trying to say, I'm, you a, a screwdriver, and you a wrench. All right. So, how your way is working out for you. How you doing? Is it working out for you? Mommy, is it working out for you when you do it your way? No. Just wait, man, just wait, man. God said, wait. Peter them was fishing. They were I'm going to fish. And they said, I'm, we going with you. But how did it right. work out? It didn't work out too well. So we got to let God. Let God be God. And, uh, and we start seeing things clearer too. Mm -hmm. When we start doing God's way, things start becoming clearer to us. It starts to become clearer to us. All right. When we start doing the way God say do it, it starts to becoming clear. Because right. as, long, as long as we're doing it our way, it's cloudy. Yeah, right. You can't under, you understand you, know, you understand this show messed up. Mm -hmm. Something you think is right but it's wrong. Right. Right. Wrong, right? Yeah. Your mind is cloudy, man. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Your mind is God because you think, yeah, yeah, this is it here. No, it's not. I'm going on the right road. No, you're not. You're going on the road cloudy. I, I'm talking about God, God gave us a clear understanding, man. God said he's not the author of confusion. All right. Marriage, man, y'all, let God lead you, man. Let God lead you. Singles, let God lead you, man. And God ain't gonna have no hey, and this this is what I this is what I know. This is what I know. God, he said he's not a God of confusion. When God show you a thing, it's gonna be clear. There ain't gonna be no doubt. It's gonna be clear as day. And, and his word is clear. When he brings something to you, according to his word, because he's not gonna go outside his word. It's gonna be clear. It ain't gonna be no doubt. All right. You mean, but it's not gonna be no doubt when God show you something. It's not gonna be no doubt. He gonna show you clearly. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. Amen. That's his word, man. Amen. So we, if we don't know his word, man, what are we gonna use? What the spirit gonna use? Nothing, cause you don't have you don't have no word in. It. So man, it's like man. So we got to let God be God. Stop leaning to our own way. Yeah. Stop doing the way we think it should do. It should go. Stop going, oh, I'm going, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going over here and do it this way. It ain't going to work out. 
It ain't going to work out. We say, daughter, it never do. It ain't going to work out, man. It's not going to work out. So it's like I'm learning now, man, like even with uh, dating now, I'm learning now, I got to be real, real careful. That first conversation, that first conversation, it mean a lot. That first conversation class means a lot to me now. Because you got to see where people at, man. You got to see where people at, daughter. Daughter, you got to see where people at. You got to feel people out, man. You got to see if they love God or not. Because people give you, church people, this is the thing about it. Because they go to church, that don't mean they in, they, they in Christ. That don't mean they in Christ. And it'll fool you because they give you a perception that because I go to church, I tri I, I'm church. But talk to him long enough. But y'all talk to him long enough, man. And you know if they in Christ or not. Are they blood covenant? Are they blood covenant? Are they blood covenant, man? That's what we looking for. Blood covenant. So it's like, man, I'm learning, man. You no. Know, I'm learning, boy. I'm telling y'all. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm a, I'm a work in progress, but I'm learning. I'm a work in progress, but I'm learning, man. But it's like, wow. No, it's like, oh, man. I tell you, I can do all day till I cut through. God. The world going to chew you up and spit you out. So, but how is it working out for you, though? You get chewed up and spit out. You get chewed up and spit out. How is that working out for you? God said, God, God ain't going to do you like that. God said, I want you to be fruit. Yeah. Right, right. Chew you up. I want you to be fruit. So, man, how, is your way working out for you? So, you going to do it your way? Or are you going to do it God's way? That's your choice. And my pastor said, I ain't going to make you come to church. I ain't, I ain't calling checking on you, see if you come to church. Your choice, man.